Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. I think now is as good a time as any to finish off the remaining castle secret stars aside from one which is in the final area of the game. So I'm gonna start from the ground up by going to the basement and catching a wascally wabbit. So um, how's it going over there? You look pretty good. Just, just stay right there. I'm not. I'm not gonna grab you or anything. Just. I'm just gonna casually walk through the area. There's no need to panic. There's nothing's gonna happen whatsoever. Oh dang it! It didn't trust me. That rabbit never ever trusts my word. Oh, I barely missed. I was aiming just a little bit too much to the right. Maybe I'll be able to catch it. Oh nope, can't get it there. You're so quick, you fuzzball of death. Yeah, yes, got it. And it's inside the wall. <laughs> no, 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 not you again. I'm in a great hurry, can't you see? I've no time to squabble over stars. Here, have it. I, I never meant to hide it from you. It's just that I'm in such a rush. That's it. That's all. Now I must be off. Oh, let me go. And it poops out a star. You can actually pick up the rabbit again, by the way. It's, it looks so sad, so depressed. So we'll just leave the bunny there for now. And sorry, Nips. I need the stars to restore the power, of the cast power to the castle. Alright, so that takes care of one out of four that I'll be getting this part. And maybe I'll do a star from the next world if I'm speedy enough to do this. Because I'm also going to be showing... Um, the castle itself, like areas of the castle you haven't seen yet, just like to show you around the place. Just like one final exploration part of the castle, so to speak. So, I'm going over to the second, well, actually this is the third floor, because you go up some stairs to this floor, and you go up another stairs to the third floor, which is here. Now I'm going to be chatting with the toads around here. One of them contains a star, I don't think it is this one. Uh, uh. The castles are covering its energy as you retrieve the power stars! Er, retrieve power stars! I misread it. And you chase Bowser right out of here! Onto some area ahead! Oh, by the way, are you collecting coins? Special stars appear and you collect 100 coins in each of the 15 courses! So that's how they tell you about the stars in each course. Basically, I mean the 100 coin star in each course. There's a sign here. Shh! Please walk quietly in the hallway. Okay. Yeah! This isn't a library. I think this is the toad that gives you the star. Thanks to the power of the stars, life is returning to the castle. Please, Mario, you have to give Bowser the boot. Here, let me tell you a little something about the castle. In the room with the mirrors, look carefully for anything that's not reflected in the mirror. Oh, this is what I taught a little bit earlier. And when you go to the water town, you can flood it with a high jump into the painting. Oh, by the way, look what I found. Yay! And there we go, there's another castle secret stop. Yes, I will. I don't really think there's anything more to show you around here aside from the, um... Uh, like, I was already in there for the next world, I already showed you around in that room. Um, I guess I could show you what is through here. This is the next world, a tiny huge island. Uh, I'll, I'll get more into this when I get into this world a little bit later, but this is what the room looks like. Uh, I suppose I'm, I can go up the stairs to the next floor. By the way, there's these uh, odd sky paintings out here. I think they're just like abstract, abstract drawings around here. There, there's no purpose to them, they're, they're just there. Like, you don't, you don't see stuff like this through the game. Like, I guess maybe that kind of looks like Navi, but no, it's not actually Navi. It's more like the, the sun or something like that. But I mean, I just seem like fairy wings and stuff like that. But yeah, if you look around this room, you'll see paintings that you haven't seen it otherwise. And they don't really serve any purpose other than just to throw you off, I guess you could say. Um, even in uh, this room. Yeah, I'm going in this room, even though I, I said I wasn't going in here before. Um, you'll see... Uh, well, maybe this isn't... Uh, Oh no, I, they, all they do have is repeats in here, okay. My mistake, I thought there was something else in here, but hmm, guess not. Alright, up the stairs, 
to the fourth floor. Thank you, camera, for making me run into the wall. I don't think there's anything around these corners that's just there to be there. But there is a toad in this room that is going to give you a star. Um, let's just look around here. I don't think there was anything in the endless staircase. Uh, besides that glitch that I showed you, yeah, because there's Bowser's paintings on the wall there. He shows that he, his dominance of the castle, basically. And this is to the toad that I think gives you the star. There's something strange about that clock. As you jump inside, watch the position of the big hand. Oh, look what I found. Here, Mario, catch. All right. I can't jump. I can't jump. Dang it, I can't catch. Uh, I can't catch for the life of me. But there is another castle secret star. So, yes, I will save. And now, for the last one that I can get before the uh, final area, which is up there. Well, you can get that now if you'd like, but I'm not going to do that until the very ending of the game for the climactic ending. If you go up this side, or at least I think it's this side, um, there's a hole over here. And I'm going to show you a little view of that hole for you, just so that you can see. Uh, leads to the sky, a very blurry textured sky, but the sky nonetheless. So let's pop in there. And this is a secret course known as Wing Mario Over the Rainbow. This is probably one of the trickiest um, red coin stars to get in the game, in, all, in my opinion, because you have to fly to each of these coins, and you also have to activate that cannon in, or in order for things to go right. As a matter of fact, I should look for the pink babam before I go... Uh, too far into this uh, because I, I won't be able to get back up high enough unless I'm able to jump to or I should say at least unless unless I'm able to get over to that cannon and uh, where is the pink bomb was it uh, couldn't have been there could it maybe it was on the lowest spot ah my memory well one thing's for sure I gotta start flying because it, it's not it's not spawning where I can see it so Let's go around and take a look-see, because this will give me a lot of time with my cap. And I'll just keep flying in a low circle so I can tell where the heck I'm going. I'm going to ignore red coins for now, just so I can figure out where the pink bomb is. By the way, clouds that are partially translucent, like the one you've seen me fly past there, you cannot stand on like the rest of them, you'll, you'll just go right through them. Uh, oh, there it is. Alright. There's number two. And definitely activate the cannons. Because there's no way to get to the higher ones without the cannons. At least not, not to my knowledge. As, as I said before, I should not doubt the physics of Super Mario 64 because of what I've seen in videos and stuff like that. Uh, anything up on the post? No? Maybe, maybe climbing on the post will give me a 1-up or something. I'll just check for the fun of it. It does! Yay! Just thought I would try that. Alright, replenish the cap one more time just to be safe. And now let's start flying around for coins. I probably should start with the highest ones first, just because it's safest. Uh, which is... I'll, sh I'll shoot over there. And... Oh wow, that one's really high up. <laughs> Alright, let's see what I can collect. Like, you see there's cannons at different levels. Uh, that, that's why you absolutely have to get the cannons activated. Oh shoot! You know what happens when you fall? You don't lose a life, you get pooped all the way back out at the courtyard. Yeah, that's probably a worse punishment than dying. <laughs> so it looks like I'm gonna have to restart the course from the top. Here we are, round two. Uh, maybe I should start by getting that coin right off the bat. But now you see why this is such a difficult star to get, because you, you have to really get used to the flying in this game, and, well, quite frankly, I am not. <laughs> so, maybe people who are better at flying will have an easier time with this star than I do. But, uh, this, this one's a pretty tough one for me, so this might, might take me a few tries to get. Uh, I think I'm above the platform because I see the rainbow! Oh, that was good. <laughs> I was a little worried that I was uh, a little bit too far off, but okay. Alright, so maybe I should fire myself over to the other cannon or something, or maybe I should just 
Yeah, maybe I should go back to the first cloud and then shoot myself over to the other cannon. Ooh, can I actually... Are you serious? Mm, this star! Round three. This time, it's personal. Alright, star. This time, you will be mine. Well, I can't guarantee it. <laughs> Alright, starting here. I'm just gonna follow the rainbows. The rainbows are the indicators as to where the clouds are, for the most part. So I, I can't really follow them as a guidebook of sorts. It's just the thing of that I'm trying to do them in some sort of methodical way so it's easy for me to keep track of what coins I've gotten and which coins I haven't. Mm, I'll fire myself this way. Oh, jeez. Why? Why did I have to hit the box of all things? Round four at Cloudsdale. Uh, I'm gonna get it eventually. I assure you. There's no one with my persistence. Oh, okay, there are people with more. I mean, with the persistence that I have. But still, that's what I'm using to psych myself up. Alright, this is the cannon that I wanted to go inside before. Because I want to get that coin. I mean, I want to get the higher coins, if at all possible. Oh, you had to do that, didn't you? <sighs> the reason why I'd like to get the higher coins first is because it's just much, much easier to do them first than otherwise. <sighs> I'm just gonna run back to the start, but that's not uh, helpful. <laughs> Alright, where was that cannon that I landed in before? It was there. Luckily, I can triple jump in place. That's very handy to have here. Well, at least when the cap is still in effect. Like, when you're on this cannon, you don't have cap to, um, be able to control your flight, per se. So, you gotta really hurry it up to get into the cannon and fly out while you still have the cap on your in your possession. No, no, no! Oh, I got it. I was a little worried that I missed it there, but okay. And stop getting stuck in the cloud, Mario. This is not sand. Alright, so I got that one. Now, is there any other... There is... Oh, there it is. It's perspective. I can't, I can't tell where the shadow is inside the clouds. Okay, there's that coin up there. I wonder if I'm better off using the cannon to get that. Maybe I am, maybe I'm not. Ooh, yeah, I'm probably better off using the cannon to get that one. Okay. I'm pretty good at ground pounding in place as I fly over a, uh, a surface. As you probably noticed that in, um, oh, the, <laughs> the cap fell off the edge. It'll respawn. As you probably noticed in the, uh, desert course when I, um, I was able to ground pound on top of those pillars that I had to stand on top of. Alright, so, I guess I'm gonna have to land at the lower cannon. Wait, what's, what's that cloud over there? Is this something that I can, yeah, it's a cloud that I can fly through. It's just got a one-up. Not all that important, <laughs> obviously. Alright. Let's go over to this landing area. Alright, I think I'm getting the hang of this course now. Now just watch, I'm gonna fall right off the edge. <laughs> Somewhere, and I'm gonna have to restart it from the very beginning. Um, let's see. Where do I want to go from here? Hello, how's it going? Um, I guess I'm gonna shoot over this way and then let myself drift to this cannon, I suppose. And then I'll get back to this. No, I was gonna say, no, wait, I'll shoot towards that. Um, I wonder if my wound cap is about to run out. I really hope not. <laughs> oh, I'm shot over it, dang it. And from the top. <laughs> Just gotta be very careful about my moves. Just gotta do everything one step at a time. Gotta get used to the area. Gotta get that diabolical coin in that cloud I can't stand on. That one. What if I shoot like a little bit 
like there and then let myself drift up like that. Still go over. Dang it. That. Uh, I didn't think the star would take me this long to get, in all honesty. So I probably won't be starting the next world in this part, but I just can't really predict how difficult some stars will be, I guess, sometimes. Alright, so let's try a little bit lower this time. Oh, I think I had the right idea there. Maybe. Just maybe. Unless I'm able to get that coin from like a different surface. Like, I don't think I can get it from there. Maybe I could get it from up there. And then like dive bomb it from that side or something. Just me growling most of the time this part. <laughs> like, I wonder if I can use this cannon to get on top of... Ah, oh, the phone's ringing. Okay, where was I? Well, I, I can tell from here that it looks like that I missed a coin on one of those pinkish platforms. But uh, I don't know which pinkish platform it is. I'm just going to focus on getting that ridiculously hard coin in uh, that cloud first. So up we go to this cloud, I hope. Mm, oh, is it up here? It actually is up here. Okay, well, that's that's one of the three coins that are remaining. Not... Uh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Maybe that... Maybe that red thing that I've seen on the pause menu is just a preview of the level or something like that? I don't know. Alright, let's look for that where that cloud is. Okay, it's over there. Right, let's get low enough. And... Oh! That might be the best way to get it, though. Let's see if I can go around. And... Where is it? Am I too low now? Yeah, I'm definitely too low. Dang it! Alright, so those two coins are up on top of there. I'm going to loop around to that cannon once more, because that seemed to be... Wait, wait, where's the... I lost track of where the cannon was. Oh, I'm going to have to go for the lower one, aren't I? Because I lost track of where it was. Dang you, phone! Distracting me from my mindset. <laughs> That one is the next cannon up. Let's get the upward lift. Whoop, right in. Should hurry up to get on top of that cloud though, because I might be running low on juice. Okay. Yeah, okay. Replenish. Come on, let's, let's hope this is the final run here. That rainbow leads to... not the right cloud. Oh wait, okay, gotta aim that way. Nice low jump, nice steady... Arrgh! So close! Why? Why must I be so close yet so far? And you know, I'm, I'm, I'm right there too, because once I uh, get that coin, I'll just be able to fly back to the center platform and collect the star. Ah, must stay calm. Must relax. Must get on this cloud and repeat pattern until I defeat the most dastardly star in the game, in my opinion. Okay, so I go from here to there. Just a little bit angle off that rainbow. Just light triple jump. Make it low. Control it. Control it. Seriously, come on. Back to the cannon. I will get this. Eventually. Oh, jeez. I came in way too low and got tremendously lucky. You're not supposed to do, to do that when you're trying to do the ground pound thing. You're supposed to um, control the height of the um, your flight so that you don't slide. Because when you slide, you're sliding at a ridiculously fast speed. That's why you want to uh, ground pound altogether. Alright, so... Alright, low, lower than before. I keep missing it low, I mean, I keep missing it high, dang it. Gotta get it a little bit lower than I think I am in perspective, basically. Whoa, that was close. 
you're probably tired of watching me do this over and over again, or maybe you're not, because this is pretty tense, but this is the way that I'm doing it. <laughs> right. I like that I like that angle, the way that I shot it there. Um, because it, it gives me a lot more control over my uh, sight as well as landing, so I gotta remember that if I have to go through this again. Alright. Let's hope this will be the last time. No! Why did you gain height, Mario? <sighs> okay, no gaining height, Mario. Yes! He gained height when I grabbed the coin, though, but that's not, it's not gonna matter. Because I'm going to come in for landing here. And there is the most diabolical star in the game. In my opinion. And with that, I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoy, and I will see you in the next part.